Sorry, just a quick little announcement. Um, there will be a section of video just after this, which will be a bit of footage I can't re-record due to the save files. And it was from the last session, which I forgot to record my microphone for. So I'll just slot that in now, just so you can see that as an exchange, and then we'll continue with the current video. Okay, we're back to after the dragon, and unfortunately you didn't miss some more bit, but all you really miss is me doing a bunch of annoying puzzles with these skulls, which is incredibly buggy, tedious, and really just trial and error. But hell, at least because the test session, well, the failed session is more accurate, at least now I know how to get through the game without looking clo over my shoulder constantly. It's basically the same thing I did for Beneath the Still Sky, which will be coming soon. I I played through this entire game recently, so I can go through the Let's Plays pretty easily without being interrupted when I try and look up how to do stuff. So if I remember now, we've defeated the dragon. We just got the um, eye from the person. I, um, we'll just examine it now for you. Now the dragon did warn us not to look at it, so let's look at it, why don't we? Search your pocket for the magical stone. Your carven face, cold, rough, cold and rough in your grasping fingers, but suddenly you remember the dragon's warning and snatch your hand away. Yep, you can't actually kill yourself by looking at it. So, and also you can't brute force yourself to look at it and kill yourself that way. It unfortunately, it's not a Sierra game. Well, anyway, you need to look for the um, fishy man known as Malin, and that's not because he shells fish. And he could literally be anywhere, so let's just um, walk around a bit looking for him. Ah, here he is. Luckily, he seems to show up fairly often when you need him. The only NPC who does. We are uh, we get into the castle. You're joking, surely? That's the last place I'd want to visit. What is that? Um, yeah, I'm getting too fast. Live. Keep your eye on the scroll patrol. There's one who particularly is acting most suspicious. Yep. I'll just take a look through his window. Turns out you can look through this window. It turns out I need to look through this window. Oh, well actually, I can just do the thing now. I, what do you mean? Scroll can't reach Selena, but she's guarded by magic, and Scroll have no power against that. We need you, you human. I don't see how I can help you. We did actually miss the start of this dialogue. Silence! Later you hide in barrel, and I will take you into the castle. Kill Selena, and I might spare you when the flesh need is more. Uh, a mounting excitement grips you as you ponder the 
this station you have you have overheard, you realize that this could be your chance to infiltrate the castle. Yes, like some sort of loony who really wants to see himself killed. Oh, uh, just wait a minute, Wayne. Um, yes. And of course, Wayne's already disappeared. He must be a very fast walker when he gets out of the shop. I guess maybe he just didn't want to run indoors. Keep some manners, at least. And this guy looks like he's doing sort of... Either he's crying or he's sticking his fingers in his ears and sticking his tongue out at me. If so, I'm not going to help him. I'll take your place in the barrel. I don't understand. I have had your conversation with the scroll. So I don't have to enter the castle? No. And I don't have to face Selena? No. Quickly, here comes the scroll. Into the barrel. Oh, and it's just a cutscene. So anyway, yeah, that will be got a look at that kingdom map. And it doesn't really look like how it did when I was wandering about. <laughs> it looks like it makes a lot more sense like that than when I was walking about. Top down view of the scroll there. The cinematic. I'm amazed I don't get killed from that drop you just did. <laughs> just chucked you to the ground, and in fact the bounty to smash. Which the playing we'll do post commentary for a little while, but I think I'll just stick to this. But anyway, this way, out of that smelly cell I could want to stay in there, and it's a little boy. Where are you going? Yeah, you don't even need a question who I am, are you? Let's look about his room a bit. The raw and bloody remains of the unidentifiable animal lie partly butchered on the huge table. Greasy wedges of fat hang from the unhealthy looking flesh. To me it looks sort of like a horse, but I'm not even sure. I'm is that the rest of it? Maybe some sort of cougar to the cat, perhaps? I have no idea. Anyway, let's grab the fat, why don't we? Because, you know, that's something that we're going to want to carry around with us. As your hand closes on a particular rancid piece of fat, you shiver with revulsion. With your teeth clenched and your eyes closed, you tear it from the carcass. And some tongs, because, you know, we might as well loot everything we possibly can. It's very easy to tell what you can or cannot loot in this game, simply because it, what, they try and loot stuff that you can't. The long knife has a blade which glints with menace. This sort of weapon which could rip through the leathery skin of a scroll with ease. Let's go grab it then, we can butcher the scroll to death and then take off the castle. So I guess the scroll aren't all that bad, it's misled. The giant ladle looks as if it could have been used as part of the siege engine on which you played this car. Hang on.